What's up, y'all? So, I want to hip y'all to something. The most sexy, attractive, alluring, magnetic quality a person can have and possess and um, embody is self-love, self-acceptance, self-confidence, self-trust someone who's comfortable in their skin, someone who's in tune with their own inner nature, their own inner divine, and they live in that space. They're not looking for attention. They're not trying to be seen, but they're being seen because of the energy that they're emitting. Because when they walk in the room, there's something different about them and everyone takes notice and they're not even trying. That's the most sexy quality an individual can have. It has nothing to do with your image. It has nothing to do with how you look, your body, your face, your hair, your complexion, your ethnicity, none of that stuff. It's all an illusion. And a lot of people in the world, because of social media, because of the culture, because of unhealed childhood traumas, have this limiting belief that says if I am physically desired by others, it means that I'm loved. It means I'll be accepted. So their life revolves around their physical image, being perfect by any means necessary, doing as much as they can, putting pressure on themselves and living in this box. And a lot of us fall for it and we think I'm not good enough because I'm not pretty enough. I'm not getting these opportunities because of what I look like. And I have to tell you, like, it's not about that. It's about what's inside. As trite as that sounds, I know we've all heard it, but it really is about what is inside. It's about your own connection to who you really are and living in that and knowing that and knowing that that's where your value comes from. That's where your worth comes from. The body is going to waste away. It's going to get older, you know? What's going to be left behind when no one's attracted to you anymore? Or you're not getting likes anymore? You know, in the giveaway are all of those profiles where every picture is a selfie, a different selfie, shirtless selfie, a naked selfie, you know? And it's not a judgment. It's simply something that um, you have to become aware of. You know, is that we try so hard to be seen. We try so hard to post these perfect pictures with these perfect images. But like I said, the giveaway is, and those of us that are self-aware know, oh, that person is insecure. They're not comfortable in their own skin and they're seeking external validation. And that belief that, they're, that they hold, that they're living out says... I don't really accept myself and I don't really believe in my own beauty and accept my own beauty. So I'm going to do things and put it out there so other people can approve of it. And once they put their stamp of approval on it, then I'll believe it. So it's a very conditional way of going through the world. It's conditional love. It's conditional acceptance. I will only love and accept myself when others love and accept me. And when it's a lot of love and a lot of external acceptance by others. So we're in this hamster wheel of constantly doing things to prove ourselves, to prove our worthiness, to prove how beautiful we are. And it's really because we have a deep desire to be seen, to be accepted, to be loved and to feel safe. But we're going outside to get it rather than leaning into the spirit, into the soul. And when you do that, you don't have to constantly post about how amazing you are, how much you slay, how much you're giving, you know, whatever. Because you're not giving anything but insecurity. And, you know, the one thing that you don't want is actually happening, which is you don't want people to see your flaws. You don't want them to see your humanity. So you have this image, this mask that you live behind. And because of the choices that you're making with your image, Everyone can actually see what's really there. And guess what? It's okay. We all have flaws. And the thing that I've learned in my journey and working with my clients um, is 
the one thing we don't want people to see is our cracks. You know, so we try to be this shiny, perfect um, diamond on the outside. But what we forget is the diamonds that are the most precious, that reflect the most light, are the ones with the most internal cracks. And when you can allow people to see who you really are without um, the need to manipulate other people's perception of you, it allows them to actually see you for who you are. Then they can accept you. Then there's intimacy, there's connection, there's alignment. And then people can see your true beauty. And you're not even trying. You're not even trying. So we have to remind ourselves to live in our truth and accept ourselves and reject the idea that we have to be physically beautiful or physically perfect in order to be loved, liked, and accepted. There's nothing wrong with wanting to look good for yourself. That's completely different than what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is when your pain, your fear, your insecurity, your wounds are driving you to use your looks as a leveraging tool to grab people's attention because it gives you a false sense of power, a false sense of security that doesn't last and it's like a drug so you have to keep doing it over and over and over again. And we know that, yeah, there's people that are being rewarded for it, but guess what? They still have to pay. They still have to pay. What do I mean by that? Think of all the people that are famous, that are physically beautiful, that get paid because of their image or whatever, that are celebrities, even social media celebrities. At a certain point, they begin to break down, they have depression, they have anxiety. And it's because now they are expected to live in this box and be perfect all the time and they're not allowed to be themselves, but they created that box. They've created this hell that they live in that they can't get out of and they've built their life around that. So they're paying with their disconnection because they're disconnected from themselves. So the payment is anxiety, depression, sadness, drinking, drugs. They start to seek something to soothe their pain, to distract them from their pain, to numb them from their pain. So yeah, there are people being paid for lots of different things on social media, but you don't know what's really going on in their spirit, in their heart. And so we have to remember that. And we have to remember to do our best to see beyond what people want us to see. See beyond the perfect image to the heart, to the soul. And you can't do that if you're disconnected from yourself. When you're in tune with yourself and you're connected to your source, you can see and you know who's in tune with their light and who's not. Who's walking into a room saying, love me, validate me, look at me versus the person that just walks into the room and they allow their presence and their energy to speak for itself. So if you're watching this video and you find that you're on either side of the fence, you know, maybe you're living in your image. Maybe you're attached to your physical image. Invite yourself to just lean back into who you really are and recognize that you are good enough and that you don't need to use your image to get what it is that you want that there's so much more to you than your physical vessel. There's more to you. And as I said, the sexy qualities, the things that we all want, it's connection, it's compassion, it's self-confidence, it's empathy, it's gratitude. That's what makes someone sexy. There's a lot of people in the world that are beautiful. We see them all the time, but what sets them apart? You can be beautiful on the outside and ugly on the inside and pain on the inside, disconnected from who you are on the inside. So I want you to just be mindful of that, marinate on that, and remember that you being yourself is enough. You being in tune with who you really are. The soul is where your value and your worth comes from. It's not about the likes. It's not about getting attention. It's not about using your body. It's about moving beyond that, transcending that into something more. All right? So y'all be good to yourselves and God bless.